Most people find cold food when they open the refrigerator, but not Elliot Arkin. He finds cold sculptures. The amazingly detailed pieces are made of wax, and he keeps them firm this way. Elliot is a bit young to be so involved in his art. He's 18, a graduating senior at South Miami High School, but he's been at it most of his life. An accident when he was four years old kept him inside, and the Play-Doh his mother got him to keep him occupied opened up a whole new world. The early pieces show a promise now being fulfilled as patience developed. Well, I have noticed that uh, recently I have been able to spend more time on, on working on the clay. I've been able to spend maybe six, seven hours at a time where a few years ago it would be three hours, four hours. So uh, as far as uh, when I first started, I wasn't able to work very long, but it, I've, I've always had, I've always wanted to work on the clay. There's nothing like I had to really force myself. What about the characters? Many of these pieces are not from life. Where do they come from, and what kind of involvement do you have with the characters? That I really don't have no idea where they come from. All I know is that when I do get an idea, it becomes, it becomes a, one person. You, you get a very individual type of uh, being, like with the, the marionette and, and, uh, and my other clay pieces. They all seem to have their own type of character, and you know them. Like you, when you look at them, they you know what type of character they are. Like if you walked up and met them in, in the street, you would know what what type of personality they would have. The painstaking attention to detail is perhaps the most striking element of Eliot's work, from the envious expression on the face of a Great Dane, to the outline of the ventriloquist's hand under the jacket of his little friend. His most recent work shows the results of long study in human anatomy showcased in Eagle Man, which seems to pour out of its tree branch, to the outstretched glove arm of the baseball player done earlier. Elliot is no amateur. Some of his works are owned by Frank Borman and Joe Garagiola, and others are on display in galleries in New York and elsewhere. Elliot considers himself lucky. At an age when most of his classmates are thinking about summer vacation, Elliot Arkin is already embarked on his life's work. Ben Stone, Channel 4 News.